close your eyes, think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for the people around you. And the word around there means as far as the universe extends, but especially the people right around you. Sometimes those are the hardest people to have goodwill for, because we see all their faults very easily. The people at the edge of the universe, we don't see their faults, so it's easy to think goodwill for them. When you get close up to other people, you see, oh, this person has this kind of anger and this kind of greed, and they've done this unfair thing or that unfair thing. And it's right there you've got to have goodwill. Because if you start thinking about how they don't deserve your goodwill, then you're going to start doing and saying and thinking things about that person that are going to be bad for you. We're doing this for ourselves, and it has nothing to do with whether other people deserve goodwill or not. We deserve our goodwill. In other words, in the sense that we don't want to do anything unskillful. If we do unskillful things, okay, that's going to harm us down the line. Do you, do you really want that? And yet, the wise part of the mind says no. So you make up your mind that regardless of how unskillfully people act around you, you're still going, still going to wish for their happiness. Doesn't mean you have to like them, doesn't mean you even have to get engaged with them. But at the very least, you're not going to do anything that's going to harm them. And you hope that maybe someday they'll be able to see the error of their ways and correct themselves. If you're able to help, again, you're happy to do that, but there's so many times when you can't. That's why you have to develop equanimity along with a goodwill. We want all beings to be happy, but we realize that a lot of beings are not going to be happy. Someone asked the Buddha one time whether the whole world was eventually going to gain awakening, or half or a third, and the Buddha refused to answer. Ananda took the person aside and said, it's like there's a fortress, and there's one gate into the fortress. And the wise gatekeeper goes around the fortress to check to make sure there are not any other entries in, into the fortress and not even big enough for a cat to slip through. And so he doesn't know how many people are going to come in and out of the fortress because of that. But he does know that if they're going to come in and out of the fortress, they're going to, have to go by the gate. In the same way the Buddha knows that anyone is going to gain awakening, they have to do it by developing the foundations of mindfulness, the factors for awakening. But how many people are going to do that? Even the Buddha didn't know. Because after all, it depends on each person's own free choice. So we have to accept the fact that other people have their free choice. But at the same time, we want to make it, take advantage of our free choice to be skillful no matter what. And that's what goodwill is all about. When you're skillful, you're showing goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others. So it's not just thoughts of goodwill. It should be carried out by trying to be skillful in everything you do and say and think. Because that's what will lead to true happiness. <laughs>